LASIK here on the 29th of September as well. And his vision before LASIK was 2040, and now he's 2020. Good morning, everyone. Good, morning. Good to be here. Thank you, doctor, for what you have did with my life and my eyes. I was sitting there thinking, what kind of price can you put on your eyes? I have a friend that's blind. I have to lead him around a lot, and he keeps telling me one day he's going to drive. And I keep saying, well, I'm glad when you do because I'm giving up my license. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that I came here. I had heard about him on the radio, and I set an appointment to come on a Saturday like you all did make it. But uh, I'm a minister, and I've been having problems reading. Now I'm taking a tax class and can't read the literature and everything that I need to do. So I just called them up and made an appointment to come in just to see if I wanted to do it. When I got here, the way they had treated me was so wonderful and welcoming. The way they took care of me, the way they handled me. And I just told them, I said, if you give me finance, I'll get it done. They got me the finance. We went into finish with the procedure, went into the room, laid me down, did one procedure in about three minutes or less. So when you get up, walk over here, did another procedure, maybe three minutes or less, and we went through. <coughs> They took me to a hotel because I live in Fontana and I didn't feel like I could drive home. The accommodation there was great. I mean, I felt like I was part of a family here. You know, people who care about you, you know, concern about your well-being. And that's sometimes hard to find. But I was glad that I came here. Uh, I live in Fontana, like I said. Uh, they accommodated me. I got up the next morning, went home. Told them I couldn't come back Friday because I had a class. But then came back today for my re-exam to talk to you all. But uh, I tell you, I don't think I could have found anywhere else to go. When you think of LASIK, you're thinking about permanent. So whoever does it has to know what they're doing. And from what this staff treats you in the way that they do, they showed me their expertise. And I'm glad that I came here to somewhere else because you hear sometime, you know, back in time that people would do LASIK, but then it didn't turn out right. So you have to be careful who you let do it and different ones, but I say that service and the quality of care here is 150 percent. I don't think you could go wrong with it. Uh, I was reading a piece of paper about this far from my face this morning and I know I could never see something like that before. And this is just two days ago and they said it's going to get even better and better. I had a friend that told me, <laughs> this is a joke, he had legend surgery that he told me, he said now I can see through women clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but I thank God for coming here. I thank God for my eyesight now. And I tell you, it's going to make my life totally different being a minister. I don't have to worry about putting these glasses on, taking them off, and fumbling on putting the glasses and all this. So I just want to say you can't make a mistake with Dr. Green and his staff. Great people here. Thank you.